Hey guys, what's up? Today we are coming at you with a delicious Indian recipe. You guys are always asking for more. So today we've got chicken biryani for you and we're gonna use um, cauliflower rice as the rice portion of chicken biryani. Let's get started. This is pretty straightforward the first couple steps because we're gonna be wanting to marinate this chicken, make it super spicy, delicious, flavorful, and that takes a couple spices and some whole milk yogurt. So this is the best option we found. For one cup, it's 11 carbs, but we're only gonna be using three fourths cup. You could even lessen that, you could do half a cup. And since we're just marinating that, all of the yogurt isn't gonna go right into the dish. So it's not a ton of carbs, but there's probably better options out there if you just look, if you go to different grocery stores. We're gonna add the yogurt along with all the spices to a large mixing bowl. Let's get three fourths cup of yogurt into this bowl. And then next we're just gonna add all the spices and some lemon juice and that'll just kick up the flavor in this recipe. So we're gonna start with some uh, fresh garlic or you can use any easy convenient squeeze garlic you have in your kitchen. So about two cloves minced. Then we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of pink salt one and a half teaspoon of garam masala. So this is, oh my God, it smells so good. This is an ingredient you can get in any grocery store. It doesn't have to be an Indian one. It's so flavorful and adds a ton. It's really the key ingredient here in my opinion. One teaspoon of paprika powder, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can do fresh if you want. That would probably be super delicious. Indians love using ginger in their recipes. And then of course you need turmeric. So we're gonna do one half, half a teaspoon of turmeric. And so this adds a ton of color as well. And the last thing we're gonna add is some lemon. So we're gonna go with half, or you know, you're looking for one tablespoon. That looks good. Now we're just gonna give this a nice mix. So as far as subbing out the yogurt, I mean, the yogurt is really what makes Indian recipes Indian recipes. Sour cream could potentially work. You could give that a try if you want, and if you do, let us know. And then if you did like coconut milk, canned coconut cream or milk, that'll be a, just a different flavor profile, but still super delicious. More like a Thai as opposed to an Indian chicken. We've mixed up our yogurt marinade and we're gonna set this aside and let's cube up our chicken. So we have one and a half pounds of chicken here and it is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Skin on wouldn't be great just cause you know, it wouldn't crisp up and everyone loves a crispy skin. So as I chop it up, I'm just gonna toss it into the marinade bowl. I'm just, I'm just roughly doing some cubes. I mean, you can see the size here, maybe like an inch, but as big or as little, cause I've had different recipes. So I've had biryani where the chicken is like bone on and it's like large pieces. So like you get the entire drumstick, you get the entire like thigh with the bone as well. And then I've also had like really shredded chicken or like small cubes. All the chicken is cubed and now we are just gonna toss it in this marinade. It didn't look like a lot of marinade, but it goes a long way, trust me. As far as how long, anywhere from two to 24 hours. Obviously the longer you marinate it, the more tender and intense the flavor of the chicken's gonna be. So it's really up to you. We're gonna cover this with some saran wrap, put it in the fridge, marinate it for two hours, and then we'll be back to put the dish together. All right guys, we're back. The chicken was marinating in the fridge for two hours. Looks great. So let's get this cooked up. Here we have a large skillet. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter and it's on medium. How do you order chicken biryani in Hindi or Gujarati? You can just say chicken biryani and they'll bring it up with mild, medium, hot. And you say, I would say mild. Okay, let's add this chicken in, man. And if you need to do it in a couple batches, that's totally fine. Okay, let's spread this out, get all of them nice and cooked and fried up. So you can see that I started to flip them and like, see how like this is browning, like that one's a perfect piece. We're looking for some brown color on these. Um, that's what I like to see in my chicken biryani personally. So once they all are looking like that, we're gonna set them aside to finish off the chicken. So it'll just take two batches. If you overcrowd the pan, it'll steam too much so they won't get as crispy and cooked through nicely what we're looking for. All right, so the second batch has finished. You can see it's nice and browned. So we are going to <clears throat> remove that to the bowl, set it aside for now. 
and I'm gonna turn the heat down on this. If you don't wanna go the full steps, what we're gonna do right here, like this is delicious. You can just top this on some cauliflower rice, you can put it on a salad, you can put it on zucchini noodles, whatever you want. So let's take this down a little, maybe medium low. This is half a medium onion, so you can do small onion, half a medium. We are going to slice this up. If you don't love onion, that's totally fine. You can leave it out, but chicken biryani traditionally has onion. And if you need some more butter, feel free to add that. So we're gonna cook this down for a couple minutes, let the onion get tender. Yeah, I'm gonna add some butter actually. So we're gonna just go with the remaining two tablespoons we have. All right, the onions are looking slightly crispy, fried up, this is perfect. So now we are gonna add in our riced cauliflower. So you can use frozen, if you have frozen, you can rice your own cauliflower, but we bought these pre-made cauliflower rice bags. It was in like the salad section. And one of these bags is four cups. We're looking for six. So I'm gonna add half of this bag. Yeah, I would definitely say frozen's not as good as fresh mostly because there is a lot of water in there, so you're gonna have to like cook it down for a while, let that evaporate. Um, so if possible, I would recommend fresh. So we're just gonna mix this around and let the cauliflower get tender. If you wanna up the fat, you can add more butter to this. So this will be about five to seven minutes. Okay, so the last ingredient we have is some fresh cilantro. So we don't even like dice it up. When my like mom and my aunts and all that, they just like do big chunks because like why? How do you say grandma in Gujarati? There's a lot of ways to say it, but like ba is what I say. Oh, that's cute. So I'm just gonna add in a bunch, as much or as little as you want. This is gonna add a lot of flavor. And I like to add it in really close to the end so you're not like overcooking the cilantro. It still stays pretty fresh. And we are just gonna add our chicken back in. That in the bowl. We can turn off the heat at this point. And then remember the chicken is cooked through, so like no cooking that any extra is necessary. And so this is perfect. I would personally top it with some extra cilantro, serve it with a side of raw onions and maybe some like lemon wedges if you know people want lemon. Um, and this is perfect. Let's, it's so hot, but I really want to eat it all. It's gonna be really hot, isn't it? Mmm, mmm, mmm. The cilantro really comes through. So does the lemon juice, which I like. So the chicken is super flavored. And against like the mild cauliflower rice, it works perfectly. You don't need the rice. Cauliflower is the perfect substitute. You can even just make the chicken that would be great for like meal prep, for salads, for just like having all week long. But this is an amazing recipe. Give this chicken biryani a try. It's low carb, it's keto friendly, you know exactly what's going into it. And then linked in the description below is exactly how to make this step by step. Get the family involved, have the kids cook, you know, make the yogurt marinade, you dice up the chicken, the wife gets the cauliflower and the onions. Have fun with it. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.